said that it's been 70 years and there is no partition museum anywhere in the world. Uh, we felt it was really important that the stories of our own families and the millions of families like ours uh, should have a space. There should be a physical space that remembers, that commemorates, uh, and that pays a tribute to everything that uh, those people went through. The partition was the largest mass migration in human history, and uh, yet I think uh, it's being forgotten in the uh, with the passage of time. We've tried to recreate a refugee tent and then we've put all those objects that people carried with them when they came to their new space. So somebody has given us a wedding sari that belonged to their mother and that's what they chose to bring with them when they fled their home. Uh, somebody actually carried this uh, bed with them in their journey. So if you look at some of that original uh, refugee footage from 1947-48, you see people carrying uh, various kinds of objects that they knew they would need. So some objects are are the utilitarian ones like we've got a lot of buttons uh, we've got uh, you know things that people needed the suitcases that people needed on their journeys but so many of them are emotional ones uh, like that wedding sari like a case that somebody's mother had made um, you know in their previous village because that she used to uh, be very fond of uh, weaving uh, somebody has given us a radio that they carried with them which is what they used to uh, listen to announcements of where the riots were to keep safe um, so all these objects together help us piece together what it would have felt like to be a refugee at that time. So what we've done here is actually we've built this well as a uh, memorial to all the women who were lost because jumping in the well was a particularly common method of uh, honor killing at that time. Um, we try to recreate it in the rustic style uh, that you would see in the villages here in Punjab. But on the well, you can see the pulkari. And uh, that uh, also at the same time, as there was all this honor killing, as there was this violence, there was also a lot of humanity and a lot of people helping each other. That pulkari belonged to some, a woman who ju who's jumped into the well along with all her family members when they were attacked. But she was rescued. She was rescued by someone from another, another community who brought her back to safety and reunited her with her family. So that tells the story of the humanity and kindness that existed at that time also. Her family had to flee last minute. They lost almost everything. Um, actually, her, they came in a kafila. She talks about how she saw people being killed. She saw a young girl being taken off uh, to be raped. She had a very difficult experience. And in a broken down house like the one we've recreated here, she and some other young children had just gone to explore and they found this tin box. And she says very sadly in her interview that she used to love dolls. You know, she said, so I, she told her, she went back to her mother and said, I had to leave all my dolls behind. Uh, can I take this tin box with me so that when I have new dolls in our new home, I can keep them in this. And so she's kept this tin box with her all these years, 70 years later, she still had it. And she's very kindly donated it to the museum. They often don't know uh, what partition was and the depth of it. Like uh, so many families where we've gone to interview uh, the partition survivor, not only their grandchildren, even the children often say, we had no idea. We had no idea that our parents went through this or our grandparents went through this. So to create the space to open up that conversation within families is something we're also trying to do. It was very important for us that the last gallery be the Gallery of Hope. And that is um, a contemporary gallery. And the aim of that is to really say, what now? You know, what next? Like, how do we move forward? It's been 70 years since partition. So that gallery tries to look at ways that people have tried to reconcile uh, with partition, either through literature uh, or through their art. Um, we, we also look at stories of uh, friendships that have survived, stories of people going home and the very warm welcome that they have received. So that is more of a forward-looking gallery and we the central installation in that gallery is the tree of hope uh, and that's actually a co-created installation where we invite all our visitors to come in the tree is made of barbed wire which is all in itself symbolic but we ask people to come in and write their messages on green leaves and and uh, green the tree of hope with us